Hello, my name is Evan Olwell. I'd like to invite you to take a look into life at St. Louis Montfort Academy, where we live the ideals of chivalry. The indomitable Catholic leader, Professor Plinio Correa de Oliveira, inspired the foundation of St. Louis de Montfort Academy. Its mission has always been clear, to forge young men into heroes who will love and defend the ideals of Christian civilization. Located in Herndon, Pennsylvania, St. Louis de Montfort Academy is run and staffed by full-time volunteers of the American TFP. The curriculum we follow is accredited by the Seton Home Study School and our academy is also qualified to receive students from abroad. This is our new school building, dedicated to Our Lady of Good Success. It was built by staff members and supporters of the American TFP and of the academy. Let's have a look inside. Students are blessed with a serious and formative classroom environment without the secular relativism that commonly harms so many schools today. Macbeth, you know your own degrees, sit down. At first and last, the hearty welcome. Safe in a ditch he bides, with twenty trenched gashes on his head, the least a death to nature. Macbeth, thanks for that. There the grown serpent lies, the worm that's fled, hath nature that in time will venom breed. Rising is early. Every day starts with the prayer to Saint Michael. Great attention is given to maintain order and discipline. An academy student's uniform should always be in order, with shoes polished and ready for inspection. Every day we have an inspection of the rooms. Students' shoes are expected to be in line, their beds are expected to be made nice and neat, and dressers are supposed to be dust free. I don't think that would pass. Failure in meeting these high standards might call for push-ups before breakfast. You sleep in the top one? That's the sound. Right. That's so. Do 10 push-ups. That's so. In the spirit of our great patron, St. Louis de Montfort, devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary is the keystone of academy life. Whether at meals, studies, or games, each activity begins with a prayer beseeching Our Lady for protection and guidance. Students are encouraged to practice that true devotion to Mary Most Holy, which our Holy Patron explains in his writings. This is the formation room where, today, we will sing the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. <laughs> The little office is very special. It is a collection of hymns and prayers which we say in honor of Our Lady. 
It's Sunday, and we're on the Academy bus, heading to Elysburg to attend the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass at the Carmelite Convent of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Besides being able to attend the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, students are able to go to confession, which is absolutely vital for their daily battles. From rising until night prayers, the bell is important in helping students keep track of their busy schedule. The ambiences inside our buildings set an important tone in the formation of our students. Each room has differing notes of culture, beauty, and refinement. The honor, respect, and discipline we strive to instill in our students, especially in their comportment with staff and peers, is consistent with the ambiences in which they study, live, and pray. Every morning we raise the stars and stripes, followed by the singing of the Nicene Creed, or the Credo, during which we raise the standard of the American TFP, which symbolizes the ideals which we defend. Ceremony helps us live for higher ideals. It helps us transcend our own defects and individual struggles, and, for a moment, find renewed vigor to follow the sublime ideals we truly live for. Tradition, family, property! Tradition, family, property! America! 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 We want God, all men are grateful to the Supreme Father, to the Redeemer, the foolish laugh and the faith. Bless, O Virgin, the proclaiming of our faith. We want God who is our King. We want God our To rest the mind from the rigors of study, there are a variety of indoor games on certain days, such as martial and charades. You want help? Match and big. Act like one, act like two. MC, MC, priest, confidier, confidier. Uh, 
Is the color guard? The color guard is not missing, sir. Then who is? It must be the tank commander. Tank commander not missing. Then who is? It must be the dishwasher. Must be the captain. I'm not um, missing. The marshal was inspecting his troops. He noticed that the trooper was not trooping. The staff sergeant was not staffing. <laughs> the war officer was not giving out warrants. And the tank commander was hung over and missing. Oh, wow. What? We can't be missing him. <laughs> Outdoor activities are important as well. These include shield ball, French football, archery, and many others. Games at the Academy are uniquely original. The one being played right now is called French football. The object is to score the ball into the net without being tackled. On either end of the field, there are two nets. The game is full contact, so long as no one gets hurt. The team invokes the name of a saint, asking their help. Fencing presents great challenges to conquer. Similar to spiritual combat, methodical action and discipline is essential if you want to be victorious. At the end of each school year, students compete against each other for a grand prize. At the academy, we place a lot of emphasis on good food and beautiful surroundings. So let's take a look at our dining hall. The wood paneling of this room was made entirely by a member of our staff. And the stained glass windows were made for us by a good friend and supporter of the academy, Mr. Jordan and his family. We're here to film you. What's that? That's unauthorized? Well, every Friday night, it's tradition at the Academy to have pizza, soda, and ice cream. So the pizza is actually made by the students. There has to be a large amount of pizzas made, around 22, because we have voracious appetites. Um, we have all kinds of toppings from potatoes, actually, fried potatoes, to um, mushrooms, Olives, green peppers, tomato and basil, uh, garlic, cream cheese, blue cheese, and the students make it entirely by themselves. I don't know. Oh, oh, and, and Mr. Mr. Daniel too. Yes, Mr. Daniel. Friday evenings are marked by a special game, Prison Break, a favorite at the Academy. 
Prison guards hunt to recapture escapees using flashlights and cunning strategy, all in a certain time limit. I'm just trying to get anyone that's going by. Victory goes to those with the most physical and mental agility. Here we have the Academy Barber Shop where students will give haircuts. Here's Master Melvin, one of the um, professional barbers here at the at school. Master Melvin's been cutting hair here for the past two years. Master Melvin, when did you learn to cut hair? Uh, I learned the beginning of last year uh, from Master Puno Faraz and Mr. Uh, Byron Lucas. How much do you charge for an average haircut? I charge uh, three Hail Marys. Three Hail Marys? And then what, what about for a special haircut? A decade. A decade of the rosary? Alright, sounds good. <laughs> As part of the Academy's cultural formation, students are offered the opportunity during the summer to travel abroad to visit the marvels of Christian civilization. The site of Notre Dame Cathedral, the Saint Chapelle, or the great castles of Europe demonstrates what people can do when they truly love God. It gives us great hope because if America, like a new St. Paul, would convert, similar or even greater marvels than these are possible for the glory of God. The rosary is an essential part of academy life. The rosary is an anchor that unites us to Our Lady our Lady herself gave the Rosary to St. Dominic as a weapon to fight against evil. Because of this, the devil has a particular hatred for the Rosary. So by praying the Rosary, we advance her reign and, as it were, deal blows to the devil, helping Our Lady to smash his head. Beyond the classroom, education at the Academy includes following current religious and sociopolitical events, as well as focusing on history. This is facilitated by the reading of an historical book during breakfast by one of the students. Later, another student reads a selected news article during lunch, which feeds lively conversation. Each student is encouraged to learn an instrument and play with our Holy Choir of Angels marching band. Whenever the opportunity arises, we take our faith and principled convictions to the public square. Our brass, bagpipes, fife and drum corps has played patriotic hymns for events such as the annual March for Life in Washington, D.C., as well as other pro-life events, traditional marriage rallies, and anti-blasphemy campaigns. The band's triumphant note reminds us that if we have confidence in Our Lady, we will ultimately see the victory that she promised at Fatima. Finally, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. For us, education and temporal considerations are important, but secondary. We live for a higher purpose, which is to give greater glory to God and serve Our Lady. Our school forges Catholic leaders, men of faith, men of principle and dedication. We exist to strengthen souls to become heroes filled with enthusiasm and admiration for purity and the ideals of Christian civilization. That is what St. Louis de Montfort Academy is all about.
Now that you've taken a look into life at St. Louis Montfort Academy, I would like to ask you to pray for our school, that we may continue to grow, so that more souls may be strengthened and encouraged to live the ideals of chivalry. Thank you, and God bless.